Kim and Lee here. We are finally in Officially Houston. in Houston. I landed first, had my car dropped off. That's why you see all this stuff in the back. Yes, y'all. Um, so today's actually our second day here. We landed yesterday. Um, we went to a hotel just so we would be here like a day early. But today is actually move in day. So we have to move in today. So we're just trying to get our lives together and figure our lives out. This might be it's probably the most overwhelming thing we've ever done. Me too. This <laughs> oh is like you gotta think I'm moving from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. You're moving to Philly. Jersey. Jersey. <laughs> Whatever. No, it's two It is two different It's two different things. Well where, I did live where, in Philly, exactly. but where were you last where were you last living at? Philly. So you moved from Philly. And um you do have to get Cable turned on, electricity turned on. Everything. Everything. Trying to have our furniture ready. Renters insurance. Uh, it's a lot, man. It is a whole lot. Man. I know. I'm not going. I'm still stressed. <laughs> Babe, I'm still stressed. All right, so first of all, let me tell y'all about our morning. So we woke up at what? We got out the bed like around, well, you did, at like 7.30, but I was doing work on a computer. Um, we had to drop the rental off, and we picked up Lee's car, and... Um, I had, my car, I had my car shipped here from Las Vegas. Horror story. The first company that I went with. Oh my I paid God. these people all the money up front. Got scammed. Never came to pick my car up. Luckily, I have a great uh, credit card. Discover. They gave me all my money back. And then I went to another company. So my car got down here like right away, which was cool. But it was just, it's just been a lot. A whole lot. So we had to get up this morning early. We're about to go sign our lease now. Coming from the airport. And, um, long day ahead of us. The furniture's coming today, some of it. Well, the, our couch is coming in today. And, um, yeah. So, all right. So, right now it's 948. We sign our lease at 10. No, we already signed our lease. But, like, we start the move-in process at 10. You know, on move-in day, it's always, like, last-minute paperwork that you have to sign on the day of move-in. So, that's pretty much what we have to do. And our couch comes here from 1 to 5. Yeah. Um, the rest of my stuff that I brought from the airport yesterday is actually still at our hotel. So right now the game plan is uh, go sign that paperwork. All this stuff in here it needs to be cleared out, brought upstairs to our apartment, and then we and are. My back hurt. So oh I'm my god, y'all! His back is like broken. His oh, back yeah. don't even work. <laughs> don't blame me either. Don't be blaming me. No, that's MTV. You did that all on your own. MTV. MTV. Straight up. And um, you know, you know, so we first night. Oh my god. First night, babe. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta pull out that toy. Stop. Don't. What is wrong with you? Keep it PG thirteen. Gosh. <laughs> Anywho, um. So yeah, after we bring all of his stuff and to clear his car out, then we have to uh, go get my stuff out the hotel. And you probably still have like a bag or two there um, yeah. and get it in. So we have to do all this before checkout at the hotel. What time is checkout? I don't know. I'm I bet you didn't even think of that. Uh, we're completely starting over. Only thing God. I have. I'm stressed. Only thing that I have I'm stressed. That I've bought this valuable. This is ironing board right here. I can fit in my, in my car. Everything else. I don't even know why clothes. you brought this. You want to buy another one? I'm saved. I saved this twenty dollars right there. I'm all about saving, so I was like, you know what? what all this is twenty dollars. Yeah, hell yeah. I can tell. Like that that green everything. basket. Why'd you? Why why'd you bring that? <laughs> so Leroy and I, we have two completely different tastes two completely different tastes this looks like an ironing board that you bring to your freshman dorm when you were in college is this is this how long you've had this what, what, how iron, long have why, you had why does it, it matter babe? what the ironing board looks like babe can you listen iron, can to you just iron how it feels on. i don't know it don't, might it might anything. break down on me that's okay. a, that is a uh, basket for laundry but it's a start it's a start it's a it's a start babe we are moving in you don't gotta use it see don't don't do that it is yours, not ours. Yeah, That's yours. You know what, you know what? Usually, what's mine is mine, and what's yours is ours. But this one is yours. This is yours. All right. So, I know everybody's probably wondering why Houston. So, do you want to tell that story? Why Houston? Well, do you want to tell them how this all even started in the first place? Like how we 
moved in together because this has been in the making like for months, like all year pretty much. Yeah, so y'all probably uh, quarantine thinking. happened. We would have moved in yeah. way earlier if it wasn't probably, for Corona. Probably, I'm thinking, well, I don't know how far they into the season right now that. Uh, no, this is even, we're gonna, this is before. before. Oh, people are probably thinking, oh my God, can't believe I must have won. They moved in Houston, this snap. This has been a plan way before. We even filmed Double there. Agents. Damn there. Right? So first we went down to, it was between moving to Fort Lauderdale, Atlanta, or to Houston. We went to Fort Lauderdale. And we went together. At first, he wanted to get out of Vegas. Yeah, we went, we went in January. So the trip was first. She came with me. Did we meet up down there? Uh, I think did we? we? No, I think we flew in together. Okay. So no, yeah, yeah. Because remember, all right, so... I had a break in school between right. my, uh, like it was the winter semester. So yeah. I was just doing an online course. So I'm like, I'm going to just do it at your house because we were in a long distance relationship. Now we're not anymore because that lease is signed. It ain't no more long distance. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so I, I went to Vegas when I had a break at school because usually within our relationship like every single month one of us we fly out to see the other so that's just how the dynamic worked um but when I had that break for school I went to see him and he was talking about how he's lived in Vegas for eight nine years and he's just ready to get out of that city because that's where he filmed his real world season and he was just ready to get out so I think the top three locations it was more so where you wanted to move yeah. um and then in January, we planned on just going to Fort Lauderdale. So he was planning to possibly move there. And I just went with him because I was staying with him in all of January. All right, continue. Fast forward to Fort Lauderdale. So yeah, we went down there and uh, was looking at places in school. We actually got into a huge argument. Like, What was it about? I don't uh, even remember. I don't remember, but it was like bad to the point to where yeah, uh, we thought it was going to be it. Like, forget it. I'm, I don't want you no more. Blah, blah, blah. She's throwing off to the room, crying. No, I did not. What are you talking about? First of all, you clearly you're not good at storytelling because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But I remember long, I was like, uh, long story. So uh, I will go, I will leave. Um, I, I was about to go right back uh, to his house in Vegas. <laughs> I was like, uh, give me, give me the garage opener. I'm going. I'm going back to Vegas by myself, mind you. I don't live in Vegas. I was going back to his house. Yeah, but uh, so we, yeah, like I said, we decided. We left I just there. didn't like Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it was cool, but it was just too close to Miami. After living in Vegas for so long, I didn't want to live at a place where people was going to constantly be like, "Yo, man, I'm coming to visit. I'm coming to visit." People ain't really working their neck to come to Houston, which they should. Because Houston is a dope city, obviously. But um, I didn't want to be like in Las Vegas. People are always coming to town. I'm just tired of it. So. With Atlanta. So what he was saying is he did not enjoy everybody's company. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, with Atlanta. So then we were like, okay, cool. The next place we're going to go is go visit uh, Houston. And then the pandemic happened in March. Yeah, so, so we were supposed to act. So funny story. I think the pandemic happened. Like everything got shut down on March 15th. That was like the day of our flight. Yeah. So when that happened, you know, it was talks about a possible shutdown. Then they shut everything down the day we were supposed to fly out. So that was when our quarantine journey began. Yeah. And we, we literally stayed with each other throughout the entire quarantine, like all I feel like months. if you can make it through quarantine with somebody, yeah. you can make it through anything. Because there's, there's couples that's been together for years I know. that split up during quarantine. Mm -hmm. So but they couldn't handle it. So we didn't get a chance to go. We found out that we would be filming soon um, with Atlanta. We had both been to Atlanta before. We kind of just... We just didn't... Yeah, we wasn't we feeling was like, it. Nah, let's try, check let's, out Houston. So we let's do a, Houston. a city that's new to both of us. We went to, even though I used to live in uh, Dallas. Shout out to Dallas, Texas. Um, I, I said new to both of us. Okay, Have you been to Houston yes. and lived here? No, I've been here before. All right, then. But you didn't live here, did you? Anyways. So it was like, cool, let's come out here. So right before a month or so, two before we came to film, we came out here for like a week, we checked it out, we fell in love. Fell in love, not with each other. All right, but I remember though, when he asked me, the moment that you asked me to move in with you, I remember, let me see, oh, never mind, you drive it. I was gonna get it out. All right, so I remember the day he asked me to move in with him, we were on the phone. So I think this was right after Fort Lauderdale. 
um and then i had went back home so this is before the quarantine began but right after our fort lauderdale trip you went out that night he was drinking a little bit then then so he you know he was drinking a little bit and you know a drunk mind tells sober thoughts because boy oh boy the, the, sometimes the things that he spills when he starts drinking but because he be acting like he can't remember but um <laughs> so one night he called me and he was like um he's like hey i just i like what did you say he was like hey um i want you to move in with me. he's like no 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 that's not what you said you were like so are you gonna move with me then i was just like this man is drunk he's playing and i was like mm -hmm, yeah whatever i was drunk and high probably no, you was like, uh, no, you first of all, you sounded kind of scared when you was asking me because you know, I was hoping you said no. I was like, hell yeah, shut your ass up because you ain't never asked nobody that before. So you were like, he's like, no, I'm serious, like, I, I want you to come with me, I can't see my life without you, and I want to live with you. And I, I was said, like, wait, are I you said, serious, babe? You know, you said all I, that, I really you know, you said really all that, I mean, I mean, and then I, I, I was I, just that's like, how, that's how I feel. But I mean, at the time, if I said that, you know, that's what you say. Shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you, you mean? <laughs> and then in my head, I'm just like, yo, he's really serious. Like he's really serious. But I, and like in the back of my head, I'm like, he he drunk, he lit. But like I knew that he meant it because I know how he is when he drinks. Um, you know, he was probably too scared to how ask me sober. He was nice. probably too scared. How am I when I drink? I'm nice and I'm horny. I was like, you thought it was probably was my way of trying to get you to come over. No, no, I was all the way I in know, Jersey. That's why I was like, Yo, you trying to come with me? And I knew that would get you excited. You to do what? Buy a flight? No, no. Oh, okay. I would not catch a flight for that. All right, as you were. You could fly to me, though. All right. Anywho, that's what he said. And then the next day, you know, the next morning, I was like, so did you mean what you said last night? He's like, what you talking about? I'm like, don't do that. I'm like, you asked me to move in with you. And then he was like, yeah, of course I meant it. He was like, um, I've, I've been wanting to ask you. And you remember that? You remember the day after when we talked I remember not, babe, I'm serious, I really don't. I'm listening, I'm, I'm, I'm Babe, just, are you serious? Yeah, as you telling him no. So how do you think the story went when you asked me to move in with babe, you? I don't remember, I really don't. But if you saying, what See, anything, you, listen, you could That's know, what you're you not could, gonna do. You could, you're not gonna listen, ignore half the conversations that you we can have. You pretty much say whatever you want. And all I can do is agree with it because I don't remember. So if I was you, I started adding extra stuff in there. And that's when he said, a year after we move in and live together, that we're gonna be getting married. And nah, I was I just like, you said that. Nah, I didn't. That's what you, but you just said, nah, you, babe, nah. you said that. Hell no. Nah. He said that. Now I remember what I was saying. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what he said. No, I remember. He said, babe, and a year after, you know, after we live together and it's, because you, you the one for me and I want to spend my life with you so we could get married a year after. So, it's 2021. Yeah, I, yeah, I do remember asking you to move down here with me at this point. Like, oh, now you remember. Yeah, oh, now you remember. Yeah, Don't do that. I'm like, yeah, you know, I really want you to Y'all, do y'all see you how know? he is? I thought you I didn't remember you, anything. You know? I, I want to move forward in our relationship. I'm, I'm taking this serious. I'm ready to like fully dive in and give you my all, straight up, across the board, across my heart, straight up. Straight up. Stop crying, babe. Stop getting emotional. Babe, stop getting emotional. You always do this, babe. This iron board was. If this iron board wasn't right here, I would just jump over there and hug you. It's all right, babe. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. Um, we were actually supposed to move in after he got his barber license, which would have been in the summer in July. So yes. we were supposed to move in July, and when I graduated school, oh my God, y'all, school COVID. is another story. But COVID ruined everything, COVID kind of. Everything no, it just delayed things. What? It didn't mess it up. What? It was actually right on also, time. Also, too, babe, because people was like, they thought I already had my barber license. I did. So in Las Vegas, what happens is once you go to barber school, you pass your, uh, your test, you become an apprentice. You have to be an apprentice and work in a barber shop for 18 months before you can be fully licensed. So my 18 months that came around, I had to retest again. That's why I ended up having to um, 
like take the test over and I was putting all that stuff on the internet. So I could retest again to be fully licensed in Vegas and then be able to transfer my license over. It was just a whole, you was trying to graduate school. I was oh trying to get God. done my license. Y'all, it was a very then, stressful time, but we I, prayed about it. We put it on our vision boards. We made our vision boards together. Y'all, yeah. we have put so many of our goals. We made them. Yeah. And now that 2020 is about to come to a close, like I know that this year sucked and it was a very unfortunate year, but honestly, I could say that we're very blessed because a lot of our goals, they still came true. So for yep. that, we are so thankful and grateful. Yep, for sure. Vision boards work, praying works. And you know what's crazy too is? God is real. As we got closer to the finish line, we were, we were also preparing for the challenge. So you needed to finish school before you could do the challenge. I needed to finish school. Then I caught COVID. Oh my God. I caught COVID. So many crazy things Most happened. July weekend. So I didn't even know if I was going to be able to film. Don't and, be irresponsible, uh, y'all. I, I be staying in the house. For yeah, some reason, he was, went out, and that's how he caught COVID. So use him as an example. The fact that he's still here after catching COVID, that's a huge blessing. That's a huge blessing. Straight up. And you have to be very responsible. But we are in Houston. Right here. Um, but, like, our life in Houston, some of my goals, just off the top of my head, are just to really... Um, take the time and put time into my business cam collection Y'all having a business is not easy. I just want to say that especially when I go away so much to film like it takes away a lot But you know, I just want to have something for my KK girls. We also have a special announcement for y'all a very special announcement. Should we tell we'll tell them in the next video, babe? Yeah, yeah all right, we'll tell y'all in the next video. So make sure y'all tune in um, but a huge announcement Listen, man. For y'all. Yeah, we have actually a few huge announcements. And Not tell them about. I want to make the Ooh, announcement. Be careful, that babe. I got it. Y'all, I'd be so paranoid. So I'm so after excited. My car accident. I'm so excited. So happy that you're here with me. I don't even feel like I could do this without you. I've done move state to state to state all by myself for years. And at this point, it's just like, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> shut up. I feel. Uh, <laughs> I feel like my cup is full now. You know what I mean? When you single for so long, you have to run the streets doing this and snack. Running what street? I, I was running. You know? Um, Before? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I know. But I'm I, saying, I was doing it for so long, being single, just doing whatever. Mm -hmm. And I think it just comes to us. I'm 35 now. So at this point, it's like, man, I'm ready to slow down. You and I have been through a lot. Obviously, they viewed us go through a Y'all have life. seen the start and, uh, and the current of us. I think I'm, I'm happy for all those. Uh, bad moments too as well as the good because that's what's brought us to where we are right now oh you and, really uh, remembered the way hey listen I, navigation. Landmark. That, see babe your memory is the best what, like what, honestly you so smart babe wait, wait till they see me this season this season don't tell them about it yet so we Ooh, so we're gonna do boy. a challenge video for our next video and we're gonna give y'all all the tea and all the thoughts with how we prepared and just what we think of everybody because also sis, too also too know. anyways you know i'm cutting in midtown uh the name of the barbershop is the spot barber lounge it's 4112 fanning street um and i will put that on my instagram or whatever i'll let y'all know when y'all can book i'm probably not gonna start for another couple weeks because i want to get settled in but we keep saying i right, we want to get settled in and uh that's that all right y'all um so that's our little welcome to houston intro uh, should we should we also show them like the apartment tour once we get in and we can like empty yeah yeah we can do the yeah, little empty apartment tour all right but that's it for now while we're in the car we are about to pull up to our place pretty soon so yeah wish us luck wish us luck I hope we get everything done on time and our couch get deli gets delivered today so yes. let's before, get it before we go in baby gotta make sure we pray okay all right we will all right we love you guys and we'll see you at our new place hey y'all so we are doing an empty apartment tour we finally got our keys all right let me show y'all washer dryer babester <laughs> babe you want to give them the tour go show them we got the fridge it's 1300 yeah, square feet by the way nothing. we gonna go grocery shopping <laughs> I love it. This is our new place. Our little welcome letter. Welcome home. Love us a little bottle. Champagne. We'll crack that open later. We'll crack that open later. 
um, floor to ceiling windows. All right, you want to show them our second bedroom? Yes, babe, this is the second bedroom, floor to ceiling windows in all of our rooms, closet, walk in. All right, then we got like a little utility closet right here. Not utility, what am I talking about? Just like a closet. <laughs> um, which is this the, fir the first bathroom? First bathroom. And that's me, that's me, that's me. <laughs> All right, um, all right, now I'm entering the master bedroom. So look, bathroom, then this is like the master suite. So the first thing is like a closet right there, then to the left. This is my bathroom, the master bathroom. Woo! Babe, come here. Come here. Giving this a little mirror selfie with me. I wanna show y'all my roommate, AKA babe, smile, babe. Cheese! <laughs> right. I'm not even using this bathroom. I know, this is my bathroom. <laughs> All right, um, then this is our bedroom. Walk-in closet. Come on, let's start moving. Let's go get our stuff. All right, babe, let's go move. move. Let's go move. Let's go. let's go. All right, everyone. Babe, do you want to tell them what we've done so far today? I'm motherfucking tired. <laughs> Straight up. Y'all so I got the I got the seat the seat link back. I might as well just go. Babe, get up. We had a light. I don't give a damn. I'm <laughs> so tired. We got our couch delivered today. Um I just bought some utensils oh, man, to I go with our pots. You know you can't mess around with your back. Mm -hmm. Um, what else did we do today? So we Is got Is that all we did? I set up my new mailing address. Yeah, we got the, the couch delivered. Which I, I helped the guys put it in. You know, I'm a grunt worker. I was like, let me grab something, then tip them. You better had not grab grab nothing yeah, with your bad back. Grabbing the pillows and everything. Did he that. got a new cell phone today. Got a new another phone. That's gonna be the phone that's gonna be um For clients. For clients. We for the haircuts. Um is this phone. So we also need to start furnishing like certain areas of the house. So we need some dishes. We need some groceries because we're actually about to go out to eat right now. So we need groceries. I'm babe. tired of this. This one I'm babe. eating. <laughs> Shoot, I ain't got no more money. Of what? I, 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 I took us no out money. to eat yesterday. I ain't got no money. Yeah, all right. Shoot, man. I'm cool with going to Walmart and getting some, um, some top ramen. Straight up, make that thing up. No, babe, you're like not, not, you about to be eating healthier. I told you. So one thing I told Leroy is once we move in together, our diets are about to change. We're about to eat how I like to eat. We're about to eat clean and quality. Yeah. What are you, what, are you making faces behind my back? No, you right though. Don't do nothing behind my back. Babe, you're going to be just, juicy. I'll, yep, I'm ready for that. I want the beets with the celery. Yeah. I'm, that. I'm actually with that. So the, we bought a juicer while we were in Vegas for quarantine, right? And I left it at Leroy's house in Vegas. He did not, he has never touched the juicer while I was gone, ever. Because I don't know how to work it. Babe, yes you do. No, I really don't know how to work stuff like that. Oh, why are you, listen. look at, look, we about to go all the way over there and he's about to park so far back, babe. If we was going right here to one of these stores, I'm, you would not be parking right here. I'm checking spots anyways. But, but, but uh, that type of money on your utensils, oh, you tripping. We go right to the utensils. dollar store. We buying our right TV to the, today. We, went, we got we our, our right to the cable dollar, and right, Wi-Fi. We could went right to the dollar store. The 99 cents, throw on all they got one on here. Babe, and no. grab, they got babe, the little no. set of the, no, the uh, sports and phones. I'm trying to tell Leroy that we, we have to maintain just like, and I'm all for a bargain. I'm all for a bargain, babe. But with certain things, it's we can't cut corners on. I'm the bargain queen. Uh, when we go to Bed Bath & Beyond, I will be pulling out a coupon and having my whole family group chat, click the same link and send me their individual coupons so we can get a discount on every item, babe. Yeah, We're now, gonna get discounts. The but thing, And the thing too is we about to walk up in here to get something to eat this little Where we grand, going to Grand Lux? Grand Lux. My favorite place. And I had the same outfit on yesterday. And they go, these people here, people was staring at me because they Ew, knew You was, haven't even... Well, no, you did shower, but that was last yeah, time but I had the same outfit on, and they gonna. Stop. He looked like little baby and Offset at the same time, don't he? Yep. <laughs> and somebody who sell drugs at the same time. Hey, bro, you got some uh? Good 
shut your ass up. Well, we about to get something to eat. Today was a good day. We still not done. It's only 3.52 p.m. We have to go grocery hey, shopping. We got to go to bed back But we beyond. haven't went by my favorite store yet. Walmart. When we go We're going to go to Walmart. That's, that, that's where he wants to get about. the TVs from. I'm getting, I'm getting the TVs. I'm getting uh, bath towels. I'm getting uh, everything Can we except go? Can for I ask you something? I want to say something, babe. And you better not say this because I'm picky. But babe said in Vegas, because I don't really go to Walmart like that. Only for the washcloths. Because their washcloths are elite. The mainstays. Mm -hmm. right? That's on what? Period. That's on perf. But babe, you did say yourself. You did say that we would start shopping at Target. You did say that, babe. Yeah, we're gonna. You do that. said that. Well, you know what the thing is. And the TVs I'm a, I'm a, are the same I'm exact go, price. I'm gonna go to Walmart by myself because that's why I feel more comfortable. When I walk up in Wal and Target, I feel like I don't belong there. I'm a why, Walmart. Babe? I'm a Walmart. They were standing at me yesterday. Like, what you, you went to there? Target. I walked there. When? Last night. Babe, how? What I was mean? with you. Babe, when you was at the hotel, I walked over to the Walmart. When? To the Target. To the Target. I went to Target last night. Why? What, what you mean? Why? That's why I went and got the waters in this the thing. Yesterday. The little, yeah, the thing from my back. You right. Walked you did. There. And I walked up to Target. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm belonging. I'm going back over there. Not where my people at? We at Walmart. Hold it Babe, down. Babe, we deep in Target too. We gotta be the change that we want to see. Like, yeah, we in here. We in here. Yeah. We gotta be the change that we want to see. But yeah. I know no, a lot no, of no, our no. people it's, that no, go to no, Target. Not That's even, not true. Not, not even that. If they gonna, and it's the same listen, price. If we're going to be the change, babe, they need to change them target prices. Because Target babe, ain't got I nothing I swear, Walmart. babe. Even if it's a dollar. In we even, did a study on this. Like, they're literally the same babe, price range. Some of the stuff over at Walmart. Because Walmart clothes, babe, they got expensive babe, as hell. I, what are you listen, talking about? When I got the toothpaste, the toothpaste was $2 more over there. No, it was I promise not, you, babe. $5.99. Walmart clothes and, been and, so and I bought, expensive I, lately. I went, I saw a cardigan the other day. Because I do go to Walmart sometimes. Um... Babe, it was like thirty dollars. Listen, I'm like, oh, listen, listen, Walmart listen. prices is babe, listen. The going toothpaste up. aim, aim, the stuff you get at the dollar store over at Target was six dollars. Let's go. You're lying. I'm just that, bro. Okay, so this is our first meal as Houston residents. We're just sharing everything, just like our living space. What? All right, Walmart trip. All right, so we bought our. TV today alongside a lot. Oh, that would go kind of dirty. Like household supplies, vision board boards. Oh my gosh. Y'all, we are exhausted. <laughs> so exhausted. How do you feel, babe? I'm tired. Just hope that we can get this TV home safely. Do you think uh, you're going to set it up tonight? Yep. Yes, with our Wi-Fi? Yes. Yes. Right. I don't feel like packing out all them supplies not, tonight. Turn that, turn that light off. <laughs> Say bye, guys. Bye. See you at home. See you at the crib. All right, guys. That's the end of our vlog for the day. I'm um, tired. We are both tired. We'll get back to y'all with a furnished apartment tour because yes. y'all got the empty apartment tour. I love you, babe. I love you, too. I'll put the CV up. Um, I'm over all right, it. Bye. I'm over it. Bye.